tuachame kudanganyana. Let's be real. Let's just know each other from the, from the word go. You get? When I'm getting into this, I know that you are the right person I want, and this is what you want. Na muogope kumwache kuogopa kuizi ma rejection. It's there. Now there's no way we can change it. Maybe ume, ume nikujia, and, and I don't like you. So I'll just tell you I don't like you. I don't like this fact in you, and I don't like the fact that you are doing this and this. So you men should stop letting us initiate. You should initiate as a man. You should just, then to, uh, there is another thing to a relationship in two, two months. Unataka, siju mindo ni kwambi untaku ni yowa. Come on. We are, we are, we are grown-ups. You initiate the conversation. Tell me, are you ready for marriage? Do you want this and this and this? If usio gobe akikwambia yuko ready, you just walk away. Ladies, tuko wengi. You'll get another man, another lady. And a lady will get another man. So, just initiate the conversation. Let it be there. Let it be real. And stick to what your mind is telling you and your heart is telling you. Above all, you trust your in instincts at any position. And another thing, you should not be, unatupea ma red flags, alafu kesho unatupea green flags. Mwache kutudanganya, msitumixie kalas, tutawana purple the next day. So if you are, unawunyesha the red flag, let it still be the red flag. So that as much as nime fall deep, nitaanza kutoka, nitaanza kutoka peke angu. You get, msitumixie kalas, msitupe ujanza. We don't like it. We don't. Ningependa tu kusema wanaume tafadhali. If you know that you are dating someone na kuna penye mnaenda nae, just to tell someone that hakuna penye tunaenda. Si ile unawestia mtu, unakana mtu karibu two to three years, unamwestia time yake, in really sense unajua kwamba humtaki, unamwestia ni wakati wako unakuja tu haja moja kwake. Ikisha isha, you go away. The other day I've been, nimekua nikifuatilia kitu fulani kwa, kwa nini kwa social media kwa tivu wakisema kwamba, unakuja mtu, unakuja na kukuja na kutumia. After that, ya kisha pata mtu, anakuja nani. Nena, akona, maybe akona mtu mwenye anapenda. Lakini sasa after that, anakuja na kwenyesha madharau badae. And then, unapata manume mwenye, umempata na mtu, na neku huyo mtu wakupige ya menyamaza. In a steady, <laughs> in a steady, in a steady, yo mtu wafanya nini, in a steady, ata akuje apologize. Aseme kweli, I'm sorry for what the uh, nyinime kukosea. Kweli nilikuwa na mtu. Lakini, I'm sorry, unapata amenyamaza. Lakini, in another way, Unakuja unapata huyo mtu anafanya nini? Anakuja anataka ajionyeshe. Tena sasa huyo mtu amekuwa hati break. Anataka apite na huyo mtu so that tujue yeye ndio mwanaume. Pride na muingia kwake. So hiyo kitu ndio kitu ningependa tu kuomba kwamba wanaume kitu cha kwanza acha ni madharau. All we are a Christian. Tu acha kunini kuchukua mtu sisi wote tumuombe na unini. Acha tu kuestia msichana time yake. Unajua ni laana. Most unapata ulikikuja <laughs> Una Unakuja unapata mtu kwa maisha yake. Hmm? Unakuja unapata mtu kwa maisha yake unakuja unajiuliza ni ulikuwa ulikuwa na mtu vizuri unapata bibi wa kwanza ameenda wa pili ameenda watatu the reason is kuna mtu ulimu heartbreak mali akalia akakwambia umenifanya hivi nimekuacha e utaenda mali nimekuachia Mungu <laughs> so hiyo <laughs> ndio kitu mimi ningekuja kuambia i'm sorry kama nime heart but that is the truth eh hmm? That is the truth. The nyamini ngepeta kukuambia. Tafadheli usieste mtu nini? Time yake. Mtu amekwekelea no wezi kujua. Number three. Tafadheli. Nyinyi wasichana. Echa nirudi kwa wasichana lakini. Kidogo tu. <laughs> Kidogo tu. Kidogo tu. Na nikae chini. Ningependa tu kusema nyinyi wasichana. Kweli kama umenda. Nimesema mi for example mi na date na uyu. Na ome kujo ya mekudanganya sina mtu. Anakwambia, aki unanjua nini? Aki sina mtu. Nini nini? Mimi tu ni mtu wa mungu. Nini nini? Yes, Alafu wewe bade uyu msichana, maybe anaishi kando na uyu. Wakati anakuja na pigos, unajua ovia satacha simu bedroom. Na mkona imu nakula sapa. Uyu msichana atakuja agonge, akuja ingia. Aki ingia, inisaidi uyu aonge, wewe ndi unataka ujifanya na unapigo uyu mungine. Wasichana hizo nilana toka tunabeba. Tafadhali, it is better ukaitini ujue, unona. It is better that <laughs> it is better uende u, at least uyu msichana kwa sababu uyu anajaribu kukuplay na wewe 
na maybe hata kwa na wengine uko nyuma na kuplay tafadhali sisi wasiana tuache kuona kujiona kwamba tunapendwa sana huyo mwingine anachukio wewe fikiria mwenzako akilia kwa sababu ya wewe ni lana gani utakuwa umefanya so hivyo haizikani it is better utoke uende uombe huyo msama umwambie kweli ile kwa hivi kwa hivi sasa unaonaje tunaweza fanya hiyo jamaa mwenye ana to play usikubali there's what we women look for number one, god fearing then the other one like not only god fearing but someone who has personal relationship with god yeah someone who has art to serve in a ministry someone who has teachable spirit someone uh, another thing she must be beautiful and beautiful the beauty is relevant depending with <laughs> yeah it's irrelevant Dep- my be- you are beautiful to me wake okay, kidogo <laughs> ah yeah uh, the other thing she must be proactive see my money inakuwa your my money is our ours but your money is yours whatever uh, the other thing someone who can run with our dreams yeah you said you want people with visions we have visions but don't come here and don't run with my visions then it's nothing <laughs> so we have visions so our dreams someone who can reason with us yeah it's not only like someone who can sit one on one have some talk we can reason together we don't want robots but yeah do this like i'm just giving instruction you cannot even question why that one you say yes yeah i'll do yes i'll do so someone will <laughs> okay the other question is number two. the non negotiables if you are not christian that's non negotiable if they don't respect if they don't show respect for parents our parents and not only parents but even others let me just use an example example ni you go to a restaurant with some of you ladies that is and you don't show respect even to the waiter or to the that lady waitress and yeah you should be showing respect that's red flag if you don't show respect the other one is uh if you are not honest honesty promiscuity promiscuity she must be a friend yeah hi guys so si tulikuwa na team work tulikuwa na team work alikuwa safisha rada alafu si tukuje tuchafue so alisema what ow oh. why p ladies doing which they need to change ya kwanza you should be real real acha nifungue real in this sense tukikuja church most of us are like uptight unakuja ku impress we don't want your face of sunday tunataka mtu wetu anaweza interact naye kila siku. Wanaume ahu. Eh, atutagi atutaki fake lives, atutaki fake smiles. Bado ham get. Like you see, acha twende late. <laughs> so, when I talk about being real, it it cuts across from the kind of conversations that you're having. Mimi naweza kuja, sometimes I just want to hear that you're having a bad day. Oh I'm okay I'm fine you know everything is good everything is okay I love you when you miss perfect nothing ever goes wrong in your life you've got everything under control that's a lie life say ni hard we want to hear that about you I don't want to hear about how perfect your life is I want to hear by the people who struggle point number two. 
stop desperation. Listen, chill. Something. Ah, mimu zuri, Rev. Si Rev, mimu lisoma bands of marriage kitambo. Si mambangu milienda. Neza, I was, I was sent forth as a sacrificial lamp. Because any short shot at me, I have protection. It cannot come close to me. Si yezi umizwa. I am just a voice of the people. Yes. So, I apologize, but I was sent to say this. Yes. Rebu na niruka. Rebu na niruka. Sato. But continue. We are taking everything positive, right? So, there's this, there's this indio kitu nye maboy by the one of Kiria. Ladies, let me give you this secret. So, when I talk about desperation, this is what I mean. Men are created to chase. Men ni kama lions. We chase. So, ukifil ni kama wanaze kuna venyu the demo na kuja hitha yangu like she wants me so much. I go like, Kani, what's her intention? Actually, you will run away from her. It's weird, but una feeling like, ah, ah, ah. I feel like evil. When you play hard to get, we get excited. Una nipata? To some level, Kuna, there's a way ladies unachanga hints. But kuna wingine, kabla ata ulete hint, unasikia, hi, how are you doing? Ati, ah, achan to me, perfect example. Tuko kwa worship team pa moja. I'm not saying that ladies wa worship team ufanya hivi. I'm using that as an example. Sawa, sawa? Eh. Mo, mtu askutishie. Mtu askutishie. Sindio, mo isi we are good. Mo isi tuko sawa. Thank you. I'll use that. Sasa you can imagine, mi ni join worship team, mo anaanza kuni text. Hi Churchill, how are you doing? Mini mo, unakumkali kwa ni masama ilesiku kwa soprano? Yes, it happens here. Nimetumia mo, ka example, junajata mo mkiongewe ya kuna shida, wino waingo, we are okay, and she won't find fault. Point imefika nyumbani? Imefika nyumbani? Wandu gila ratu tuseme ama tuwache? Point is, eh, you ladies stop being over religious. In that... When we want to talk to you, you want us to talk as if we are talking in the spirit all through. <laughs> Please stop being over-religious. Don't expect us to approach you speaking in tongues. Let's have that, let us have that conversation, human being to human being. Sawa sawa. That is it. Iyo ingine zimesemwa, wamepaka mafuta kidogo, so sitaftoa. Let's clap. Ideally, we are learning together. We are breaking the things that hold us back so that we can form the things that will move us forward. And true, we all want to harusinet in this place. We want more harusis. We want more celebrations of love and marriages, especially among YPs. So any point that has been raised here like I said in the beginning, ukisikia umekanyagwa, do something with it. Ukisikia imekujenga, kimbia nayo. And kama unaona imekufinya sana, jipange sawa sawa. Allow me to bring uh, Mr. Alan Buleti to do a preamble before we have our, uh, what do you call it, our panel discussion. So allow us to do, first of all, let's clap for the those who have represented the groups. Father, we bless you for this evening. We thank you because of who you are. You truly are our God, Lord. We are grateful for this time, even as we share and talk about our lives. I pray that you, Holy Spirit, will minister unto us, O oh God. May every word that comes from my lips be ordained by your God and may be able to listen and grow from your word, O oh God. We thank you and we bless you for this. We pray, believing and trusting in your holy name. Amen. Santeni Sana, my name is Alan Buleti. I'm married to one wife. Uh, sadly, she's not here. I have a sore throat. Uh, you have been feeling well for quite some time, but I had to come. Here I am a back dog and the baby. We are married. We have a daughter called Ilana, Ilana Tori Buleti. She's three years and seven months. I don't know, Shika. <laughs> yeah, seven months. <laughs> yeah, we've been married for next month will be our eleventh year. Nashukuru Mungu. Amen. 
Mungu awabariki. Um you had some some quite interesting uh, things here and I'm praying even as we share we shall be able to get our part in 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 what I want to share in the preamble I'm about to do this uh, this day. Let me put a foundation first cuz every time every place I go to whatever I'm speaking of if it's in a church setting equally in relationships equally in sexuality equally whatever thing I talk about as long as I'm a Christian there's a foundation I normally set. So anytime you come see me speak there's a foundation I'll set later it change. That thing to know ni we are here. So I'm not sure okay can't be sure but I'm not sure sure if you can be a marriage ma material Okay? So I said, uh, let me see who can fit this part. So I date Lady A. We date for maybe a week, a month, around or two months, a year. And there's something about you in Bambi. Ah, to my channel. I go to Lady B. Do the same thing. After five, six years, Lady A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Broken heart trails are to Joanna. In church, these settings we are here. It's give you a chance to know someone from afar before you engage. Do not social do not specialize first. Socialize first. Before specializing, do what? Socialize from afar. Is this person respectful from afar? And the does he serve with his heart? Does she serve with his heart? Are they respectable? Are they like, are they kind? From where? from afar first unamwangalia from a distance kidogo kwanza kabla umu mkaribie hello are we okay we could cuz matters of the heart see raisi bro ama sis si ndio once you are broken before it comes back all again unless christ he himself embalms your heart ni ngumu sana tunaanzia wapi from afar kidogo okay so don't date no no first before you do what before you date because dating is a growth process not of not of years of your mind and heart we grow in our mind and heart by how we know this person loves me ama how we love them okay are we okay pakapo okay uh hope it yeah, there's a there's a common nuance in mesemwa Uh, but he's my friend so anajua hata nikanyanga nikiongelea kidogo tulikuwa na yeye from tulikuwa na yeye from counseling sessions huko kwa prosmite also hata alone hata kubali nikisema hii okay let me just say this i am of this idea ladies this is me never ever play hard to get never ever play hard to get i'll tell you why <laughs> I'll tell you why. Relax. relax. <laughs> Take your time. Relax, okay? Listen. Do not play hard to get. Be valuable to get. Okay? Playing hard to get is for players and fools who have the time to play games. But if you're valuable and there's treasure in you, you, you just appear. And people see. Let me give an example in the Bible. This man was plowing the field in the Bible. Not your story. To get be valuable, precious to get. This man was plowing the field, eh? Plowing the field. Come, I'll go to Nitonga Jara. Jara and your job. Eh. I'll go here. <laughs> You're just plowing the field and then the Bible says he came across a what? Hey, wana wana Biblia. This man who was plowing the field, he came across a what? He was plowing the field tilling the field precious metal the bible says akafunika he went sold everything he had came and bought the entire field be precious to get not hard to get when you're precious to get people will sell everything they have to get you playing hard to get is a modern thing I play pack of 40. Hey, play too hard to get. 
Eh? And in fact, you play hard to get to men you don't like. Now, let, let, let me be real. You play hard to get to men you don't like. Men you, who are attracted to you, who kuwapo mbaya sana. Who kuwapo mbaya sana. Don't get too quickly. Ati huu mse ako poa majise, ako, 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 ako na foundation na ako settle ako poa. You don't play hard to get. Because you're sure you're not the only one he's seeing. And science says, whether women look for the same thing in a man. Security, stability, same thing. But if you're valuable to get, someone said, beauty is constant. Character is different. All of you are beautiful. But what makes you, what sets you apart? Your character. Don't play hard to get. You are cheer footballers and volleyballers who play. Okay? Be precious. Be valuable to get. Being hard to get is being entitled. Ah, hata nikujia. Hata niona. Si mini wacha nione kwanza. You're arrogant. Yani, mini mefika. I'm playing hard to get. You're wasting time running, wasting your energy. Okay? You're playing games. It's a form of immaturity and, and childishness. A mature lady playing hard to get. You don't have that time. You don't have that time. You're building yourself, your character. You're reading books. You're having mentors. Waste, waste time to play. You're in school, in college. You're working. Waste time to play. You'll be valuable to get. Okay? When you're valuable to get, you're precious. You are worthy. You are pure. You are. There's something men I was waiting for you to tell me. Mkusema, things you look for in women. Mkusema, lingoja, nikangoja. Askuzi nikai na nikipotea. Now let me step on the ladies' kidogo. Eh? Hii era ya ya ejina na nipotea. This era of uh, Gen Z. This era of uh, empowered women. I was looking for that word. If there's something nowadays is lacking in women, don't get men, something called femi- femininity. But for a lady that is a lady, squeezy. A lady that is a what? A lady. But that's squeezy. If you just be feminine, like 10 people are going to be 10 women are going to be Because squeezy, most women want to be like men. Combative and strong. Strong and I have muscles like you. I can do what you want to do. By the way, women think what they look for in men. Men look for the same things. No? You men, ladies want strong men. Sindio? Um, who are? Um, strong men, visionaries. What else? Those strong, strong things. Um, <laughs> eh? Security, Sindio? You know what men look for in women? Eh? Soft spot. Feminine, agreeable. Um, yes. Why should I fight the world from Monday to Friday? I come back on P and I fight now kwa nyumba. Because you're a strong, independent woman. I'm not saying that you, you I'm not saying that you am strong. Get me? I'm not saying that would be strong. Power to you, Sindio. It's okay, be strong, okay? But the essence of a man falling in love with a woman is the femininity in her. Not what you drive. Not your bank account. If I have my money, when you may say up at my money hour, money and your money, your money. Then what's your money to good to me? Nalawana. That being but then you can be feminine and strong still. But you come now. You know, those days when I was growing up, those many years ago, before you guys were born, eh? When I was growing up, and you see this lady walking in nothing but a white dress. Eh, paka, either, um, uh, gloves are neaty, white, white dress, white socks, and um, palms are black. Eh? <laughs> and I'm thinking there was some elegance in, in being a lady. Yani you, you, you just walk and people notice. Because you come to a chali. Come to me, bro. <laughs> Eh? I had to a date, but I could your softness. Yeah, to, and the world wants you to be that way. By the way, in America, they're saying, by the year 2040, 
Women who, who are over 40 and single will be over half. Over 40 and single in America. Because in Nigeria, I am strong, independent, I don't need a man. Let me, those guys who are, who are here, to go church, like you are here, you are here, you are here, you are here, you are those people tell you at oh, uh, oh, single ladies, what your song here? Yeah? All oh, the single ladies, oh, imba, stand up, and she's married. <laughs> she's married. Who can ask how she's married? And let's go further. Her husband cheated on her. She went to Alienda Wapi, nowhere. She remained where in that marriage. And I'm betting single ladies. Unless we go back to the things of God, however funky and young you look, however beautiful, however modern you are, the word of God is the basis of every relationship. foundation yetu nani? Ni God. Peke yake. Okay? Tuko sawa? Hadi hapo. Okay? So you're worthy, you're pure, you have feminine, you have principles, and you have what? Values. The Bible says, in the last days, people will be lovers of themselves and of money it's all about me namfamu nione vile na nimengara mimi ndio mimi ndio nimeshinda hot we are so full of selves a world of selfies it's all about me eh mimi sije elewa tian tu niko by the way mimi kupata weka chali unachukua selfie kwa barabara na kwa church nda kupiga kofi ya masikio yani chali uko tu na simu tu unajipiga selfie a man Unasimalia sikamera kuchipiga sehemu hapo unapost. What kind of men are we raising? <laughs> what men are these, bana? The men in the Bible, not even in the Bible, in, in World War One. in World War One. How many years were being enlisted to go and fight? Men? 17, almost 16. 16! They went to war, 16 years. Walk of 35 and ukona selfie mbele uso. TikTok. Really? Eh? Huh? Pako machukua pose. Aye, bro. Z. Eh? So I was saying, I uh, point hard to get. Why waste time playing hard to get games, yet I can invest time to know what I want? Playing her to get is wasting time. I should invest that time to get to know this person. Okay? So when a man you respect, keyword, when a man you respect shows you interest, okay? You submit to that interest, but you interrogate the intention. Okay? Submit to the interest, but interrogate the what? The intention. Okay? Have mature, holistic conversations. If, 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 you're, if you're quoting, have holistic conversations when you're going out for dates. Okay? Yeah, what's your favorite color? Oh. <laughs> what's the destination? It is a kuja. Let the foundation be a holistic what? Foundation, okay? Are we okay up to there? Okay? Sasa. And then ladies... Don't drip desperation. Don't drip desperation. Chumilwana. People, men know. If you're desperate, they do what? They will know. And if a man is not submitted to Christ, they will use you. church. If his heart is not in Christ, he will use you and he will run as fast as he came. Chumilwana. So do not drip desperation. Because desperation seeks for endless validation. You, all, you always want to be validated by someone. But when God validates you first, when you understand you are made in the image and likeness of who? Of God. There's a special cover you have on you with that God. Every person, especially women, men, as long as you're, you're solid and secure and you're set, it doesn't matter. So, but I believe... There are thumbprints all over your face as a woman because God made you specifically with his own hands. Even men I know. But God has his 
thumbprints over you. You're made in his image and likeness. Once you stay in that mold of God loves me and cares for me so much that he has made me in his likeness and image, then you stand secure in him, not in what people tell you. So that ends this cycle of what? Desperation and playing hard to get. Okay? No amount of beauty can cure desperation. Only God's word and standards. Okay? So in this era of, I've heard so much about, which, which, which is all true and right. But let's first seek to mend our ways first and be in the correct mold for these other things come. As I said earlier, and we'll talk about our story, we've been married for quite some years up in Nepal. My friend, our ladies were tall, dark, and handsome. Don't tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> tall, dark, and handsome. Sindio? I want a tall, dark, and handsome. Eh? Now men want eh, whatever they want. Light, dark, chocolate, dark, Sindio. You know, attacker. Let me tell you something. Don't you we took a ground and going a different. No, that's easy. Before you meet your guy or your the lady you go on a date with, Cindy, you wake up in the morning, take a shower, look fresh, put on perfume, do makeup, Cindy, put on your best clothes ever, put on your best shoes, and as a guy, you look, your drip is on fleek, uko poa, Cindy. Na meet you happy? Uchuke uba, ama uchuke kuna uba. Uchuke wasili, ama cab, Cindy. Mkutane wapi? Either eka, ama... Uh, Rupas, any, any place to pop on a just yo. Fick up on a nukia, poor, marash body con point, at all just sweats. The damage packer makeup, mascara, mascara, this is all time, Majipaka. You're looking good. So you see you see him or her on their best. Sindio. So you set your standards of living by their best. They talk to you the kindest they know because they are prepared for a what? An occasion. These are occasions, by the way. We call it Arusi. Arusi is a fault in Andoa. These are occasions. They are the weddings, not marriages. Okay? So you look good. So your mind has been, has been conditioned to know this is the best I always get from this man or for this woman. Mioga meenda melala sindio kemka subui kabla ya masakara aeke powder aeke ukemka morning match iko hapa masiku iko hapa kabla zipange vizuri mnaonana so <laughs> eh kuna 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 map imetoka hapa ya white imekuja hivi imeenda paka huku eh at is aya au joing maybe ana langa ina tremuka hivi naenda hivi that's how you see them so you see them in their all and <laughs> best and worst. Tunelawana. So, it's time you best your your could place your <laughs> your expectations on the best. It's not really realistic. I was saying, you look pure for the salt and the sour taste of this particular person. Tunelawana. Are we okay? Yeah. So let's allow the Lord, He Himself, to interrogate our hearts to know what He looks for before we look for that particular thing in a in a person. Okay? And then, never, ever, 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 ever do not get married because you feel loved. Do not get married because you feel loved. Don't marry for love. Marry out of love. Love because you, not him or her, because you have committed to love them. Melawana, you have made a commitment. By the way, as Christians, we are supposed to have the best marriages. We are supposed. The keyword is, we are supposed to have the best marriages. Okay? You know why? Because I believe only Christians, only disciples of Christ, let me be specific, only disciples of Christ are able to love unconditionally. And I'll tell you why. Love is more than a, love is more than a feeling. In fact, love is more than a commitment. You can't love without the Holy Spirit, and I'll prove to you why. You can't love without the Holy Spirit. 
You can show feelings, you can show emotions, but see nini, love. Galatians. Galatians what? 5, 22 to 26. But the fruit of the Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, CR is number one, but the fruit of the spirit is love. Yo kuna, kuna love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-controls. Again, such thing there is no law. But the first one, Gani, bro, you can't love unconditionally unless you're full of the spirit. Utachoka. Yeah, that utaweza. Akikubo na rudi kwenye yanaenda kuwa usindio. Mkuu na unaenda wapi? Unaenda wapi? Sitting room. <laughs> Bed ni lele, like ni lele. So unless we are empowered by the Holy Spirit, me I don't care how much more than you. It's okay. You have the latest iPhone, the latest, latest phone on your hand. You have the latest ILD TV in your room. It doesn't matter. Unless you're full of the Holy Spirit, life will be hard. Already in Gumu, that's what Christ in Jawone. That's what Christ warned. The Bible says, Christ says, Husbands, love your wives as I have loved the church. Lay down your lives. In fact, may I tell this to married people? In marriage, in, in marriage, eh? marriage is dying to self so that my spouse can live. Marriage is dying to self so that my spouse can live in marriage. I love my wife as he has loved the church until he laid down his life for, for her. So he expects me to do the same. Oh, celebrity couple. Oh, celebrity couple. Oh, to me divorce. Oh, celebrity couple. Oh, TikTok things, oh, my ma, range kwa, 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 kwa TikTok or IG after two years to me achana. Marriage is God's idea. I mean, marriage is God's ideal, not a man's idea. That's why every other day on TikTok, to me on IG, I'm not celebrating. I'm saying it's not, even with all that money, it's not possible without the love of God in, the, in a person's heart. Francis Wapi? Dating and co- is it, is it dates, nani, nani, going out on dates, loving your wife unconditionally, the love languages of your wife and spouse, is Ziko, by the foundation and basis of marriage. Bro, sis. <laughs> nini, nini? The word of God. To Melawana? My, my, my preamble is supposed to end towards the day. Yeah, let me finish because of time. Okay? Um... Let me finish by saying this. I think we'll, we'll get more in the Q&A as we're going, we're going further. I pray that the Lord will teach us to redefine what intimacy is. Because intimacy, intimacy is not a, a hardy. It's not a hardy hug. H-A-R-D-Y. It's not a hardy, a hard hug. It's a hearty Heart. It's a hearty hug. Can I make sense? Intimacy is surrendering your every single being to the Lord so that He can teach you how to love a woman or a man. In the intimacy. Because I'm able to love through all seasons of life without making corners. But your love is like water stored in a thermal flux. No matter the condition outside the flask, the inside is what? Consistent. That, that can only happen if you are step by step by the word of God. Now having said that, now we can go into the practicalities <laughs> as it comes of now the debts and the coaching and what, does, what do men want, what do women want. Now we can go into those things because now we have the foundation of the word of God. Thank you. Okay. What, what would you say about the responsibilities in marriage vis-a-vis the way the times have changed, okay? 
because we if you look at how times have been we've we've lived from a point where men used to go to work and bring the bacon home now both the man and the wife are going to work to bring the bacon home but it's gotten to the point that both the man and the wife are going out to bring the bacon home but they also have side hustles you get that's how how would you uh would you uh, sp say what would you say about a situation like that um thank you and uh, maybe briefly i can just do an introduction my name is ken wafula and uh, my wife concilia wafula and uh, we've been married we were celebrating our fifth anniversary on 31st august just the other day um and we were we waited here we were married here in 2019 so five years in marriage and we thank god uh god has blessed us with our family uh we have our kids we are a family of five in five years it's a family of grace and so we thank god um our twins uh, prince baraka and prince kibali there and then we have uh, another one here royal jabali and so we thank god for that within that short span of time god has allowed us to be able to to be in marriage um Basically, uh, just to build on that is that for us, we are a product of SITAM here in terms of our relationship, our dating, and even our marriage, and now our family life. So we, if you're looking forward for a product that has gone through whatever we are doing here, um, we've been here. We've been there as singles. I can see Lavender smiling. He knows I was, <laughs> we were there in those sides. And God has allowed us to cross over and we can still come and testify and say it is possible that you can go through and still cross over and continue. And I think that is very important. But just before even I answer how it was um, a responsibility, it all began how it started. Um, for me, um, finished campus, I went on this campus, I, I thought to myself that I, I will come out of campus with a wife. There was that um, pressure I used to serve in the Christian Union, and uh, you know we had those fellowships, and with a brother that we used to pray in the Arboretum in Kenyatta University those days, praying for our wives. So preparation is key. I was praying for some specific things that I really want. And uh, later on, I told the brother, I've been praying with you for many years. Tell me, are you seeing a signal? Show me a sign. And he said, yes. This guy had, had no strong personality like ah, I could speak, but him, he was a bit with low self-esteem. He could not express himself. And there are some men here, they are very good, but they cannot express themselves. So he said, Ken, I've seen somebody, I've seen the mom. You know those mom were Christian union, those that are Holy Spirit filled, and you, can, you, don't, you, know, <laughs> you don't even know how to start. Huh? So I felt for this guy, like, what? That is a standard, that is a level of set. But um, just to cut a long story short, I was able to work with this guy, and uh, in our rooms, just uh, arranged, because I knew this guy could not be able to, to do that, so I just positioned, I invited them for dinner. So, I mean, the mediator. And to cut a long story short, those guys, they got married, so it was possible, and I was in the line, Niki was in 2014. I could not believe this guy went ahead of me, because I was this vocal person. So, for me, I had a, a fiancé, and it's not her, in, uh, in, in the Christian Union, and she's aware about that. That's why we can speak about these things. And uh, when I finished, I was so poor, you know, I become so tombayasan. So this lady, when I came out, decided to run away. So I was rejected, rejected on the basis of, I had, I had, so uh, 2013 came home and uh, decided to hustle, not even hustle, decided to to do God's ministry. That's something that we talked about. I got into God's ministry. I, was, I felt bad. I felt hurt. You know, I was like, better I could have gotten somebody in campus. I was feeling like she wasted my time. You know? Because out here, again, you have to start from point zero. Now, I went through a lot. But in 2017, when I came to Eldred, I was in pain. I was feeling like my time is gone. I'm wasted. I'm almost in my third floor, and I'm, I'm not seeing any signal. Um, I'm looking at things, that, and I'm feeling like, will I even get married? And so I came here in 2016 after loss of my mom, 2017. And the first job I got was Kazi Amjengo as a site manager. 
So uh, I was sent to a lot of Polytechnic for my first assignment, because my If you go there, you'll go a guest room. So I was in 2017. During that time, uh, I was fellowshiping in another church when I was just coming, and we had prayer and fasting. So I used to pray and fast. There are some mitimbao, karibu na lami. There used to be so many there. So we used to, I used to go there and just break my fast. Now one day when I was uh, doing my inspection, you know, I spotted a girl. <laughs> I spotted a girl, and she was so simple. If I look at my first skirt, you know, this skirt, this skirt, this is normal, this is a black, easy. Eh? This is skirt, it's true. And I tell you, I'm going to go away. But I thought, <laughs> I, uh, I thought, well, okay, I was, I was in this, I was just having, it was a prayer and fasting day. So I was just like, but I felt something moved. Just like Jesus said, somebody touched me. And, and, you know, power left me. So that was the first thing. I, I thought power left me. So I just thought, easy in Israel, temptations are prayer and fasting. So I rebuked it. <laughs> of course, I rebuked that. Huh? And so um, that was it. One time, just one day, and just disappear like that. So another time again, because we used to do fasting every week. So I thought one, I learned that, okay, I just thought that this is just something like that. So next time, I'm going to break my fast. And I'm hearing people also praying in the same arboretum. So when I, op when I was going to finish, I, re I read there's another group who have joined me. So it was like a team that I've come to pray. So they invited me when they were finishing uh, their, their prayers, and I joined them. Now, in the prayer of conclusion, guess what? In that kasako when I'm holding, the person that I'm holding next, I realized that she seems this is the girl that I saw the other time. And it was true. She was the same, same girl. So it was a group of the you know, praise and worship team. They are doing their fast, so they are breaking their fast also on Thursdays. And so I was shaken. You know, I was shaken. But uh, I could not even afford to say hi. They just, uh, they just told me to introduce myself. I said, I'm working as a site manager. And, and that was it. She didn't take much notice of me. But for me, that was something, you know. I just, I didn't even know her name. I didn't want to ask. That was the first time. I just had people calling Beatrice. So the name that I got, I had the name Beatrice. I said, thank you. She's called Beatrice. And so I went with the name Beatrice. And then it, took, it didn't took long when I was in a pair transfer from Poly to um, Kenya Re Houses, Pali Cup Sawyer. So I had not gotten her number. I used to just to see them go to, I used to visit uh, them in um, uh, their sessions. She was in praise and worship. I could see her. I just knew she was called Beatrice. So I went with Beatrice. I didn't have her number. So when I went away, I could not, I, I, there was no way I could get her. One of the things I did, I just asked another brother who was a close member in the CU, kindly give me the number of Beatrice. So they sent me the number of Beatrice. Now there was a lady in the praise and worship who was called Beatrice. So they gave me uh, the number of another Beatrice. So I remained with that number for quite some time, like one year down the line. She was in sec second, second year that time, or is it first? That was when she was in first year. So one year later, when I, I, I was gone away, I would not touch, in touch with her. I was just having the number of Beatrice. So I decided one day to call the number of Beatrice, you know, because I felt like this Beatrice, this, this is the one. And so I called the number of Beatrice, and guess what? Beatrice was so excited, and it was not her. In fact, Beatrice was so cooperative. <laughs> So Beatrice answered back, and Beatrice was probably was waiting for that opportunity. Beatrice started, you know, answering back, and so I decided I went to the WhatsApp profile to check for Beatrice. The first that I found, like, no, this is not the one. Just like Jacob, this is not the the Rachel. This is somebody else. And so I I decided to cut it like that. I I just left that hanging like that. Now, what am I trying to say? Later on, while uh, now that she left me when I was a site manager, but God helped me. I got another promotion uh, as a, a manager at a pastoral center and administrator. And so one day I was in town and I'm trusting God, like I'm yearning to get and settle down because now I'm feeling I'm much more stable. 
And uh, when I'm walking in town at Safaricom House near that area, that street, I met three ladies. She was among those three ladies. I the, 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 the girlfriends, two of them. When I saw her again, my goodness, have a, I, I, I don't know. I just knew she's the one. I, I was not sure. I was not, this is the one year down the line, okay? But something was, she was the one. So, Lil Power Peter, I decided, Sita Onesha, any sign. She looked at me, Kapitana, but Nikafika Mbele, as a man, you understand. That, that Katan, you don't want to turn immediately. But I went, Mbele, Arafa, Nikatan, Polapole, just to confirm if they are the one. When I was turning, I saw them coming back again. I thought, maybe Omeniona, they are coming back. So, Nikaingia kwa stoli anguo, just to pick on some things there. They were going to Safari Kumau, so they were coming back. wrong street. So I followed them behind. And then I went to Nikafata kwa Safari Kumau and Angaliangalia Simu. I decided to go also in Kanda kwa Angaliangalia Simu. Kuna zile Simu Zanguvu, the other side, Mina Angalia side. But Akuna Simu Najua, there's nothing about phone. And uh, she was also looking at her. I don't know, I've always been asking, Kama Alpi Alkua many notice, because I could see her. So there was nothing serious they were doing in Safari Kumau house until I got courage. And I just told her, I've been looking for you. She remember that statement. I just told her, no greetings, no many things. I have been looking for you. The other friends ran out. Wakanza could giggle, like, who is this? And, and then I just told her, give me your number. Ile time I talk with number yangu na simi yangu inazima. Moto, charge. So I just decided, okay. Let me give you my number. Kindly call me when you reach the place. So I gave her my number by faith because this, this is an opportunity that has come. And now I just gave her my number. When she left, I ran back to the house. I'm going to do some things in time and I ran to charge my phone. And guess what? When I put my phone on, it was a tingly like my Mpesa. And the, the response, that's my number. And that was it. And that was it, that was it. She accepted to give me her number and we organized for our first dating at Indupawa, a simple date. And to Kakunyo Chai, we never talked about love. We just got to know each other. We talked about our families. There was something that was in our first date that Unona uh, my deal breakers. I was, I had come to see the deal breakers on our first, you know, just to be sure that this is not the one. Nae pia alikuwa mejipanga vizuri. And we just had some time. Nothing about love. We just talk about who we are, our friendship, and so on. To cut the long story short, after a year, I ensure that she had finished. She finished uh, which, uh, which month? In August. She finished in July. I ensured that she finished school, college. And I sent her home to take the message, you know. And the parents said, wait. The parents say, wait. And I waited until she was able to finish. And we started the process. Thank God. Morris is around. Morris. Morris played a big role. God bless you. Morris. <laughs> yeah, there was a man of accountability there. They played a big role. We went to the other side and uh, just working with them. And the people you work with really matter. Because when the family saw, there's another guy again. And it made really uh, uh, now. We waited here and we have started life. And I can say in terms of responsibility, one of the things that worked for us, and I'm answering your question now, is that when you talk about responsibilities, is for me, marriage is about preparation. The pre, before the marriage. Because most of those things we had tackled before. In terms of, like we see for her, for our children, we have not hired any butch. We said, for us, we will not have a housemaid. And she agreed. That was before my, when you we were dating. Every time we were dating, we were dating with an agenda. Today we are meeting in this hotel. We're going to talk about these things. Finances. We talked about little things. We were talking about, uh, uh, what do you call it? Family planning. We all talked about our mode of family planning. All those things we agreed. And I think PMCC helped us because it also empowered us on the same. So one of the things we talked about is that we agreed that for the first time, because God would allow us, because... Uh, of the years that God has made to pay up here, the years, the age gap, huh? yes. But God will give us children. We'll want to raise our children to a particular level. And then um, we'll be able to do, you know, some things, business, just to keep us, because she's a nutritionist. 
And, and so before now, we embark on other things that might take family time. And she, she, she gladly accepted that. In fact, she said, this is what I want. I want to see my children grow. I want to, them to go in my hand. I want to see them making the first steps. So she's that ideal woman that I wanted and I prayed for. Thanks to, yeah. So that one is it. So for now, that I'm saying, we've, she does her business, um, um, but she's purely a homemaker for this period. Now, this one, with, with the grace of God, we are looking forward to the, the young man here. To Namaliza and I, love now we embark on a something, something, building on something, building on our home, building on our careers, and so on. God has helped me also again. I've been promoted to level to level so that I can be able to take care of the needs that my family needs. And so our responsibility is clear. She's been helping me in the home. We don't have a housemate, we don't have a helper. We have just been there. She's been taking care of the kids. And I've also been helping her in the same. But God has been helping me to go out and provide and ensure that they are well taken care of their needs. And that is for this period. And this one we had agreed before we got married. Thank you. Wow. Let's, 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 give, Ken, let's give Ken a clap. Uh, just know the answers that are coming from the panel are based on what they have been through. Some may work for us, some may not. Know your person. So, straight to the SMS line, 0720586 35 Is intimacy important during dating? When one partner insists on it, let me throw it to the house. What do we say? Okay, what do we say? We define intimacy. What is intimacy again? What is intimacy again? Hmm? <laughs> what is intimacy? So back to the question, is intimacy important? <laughs> Alan, you'll take that. There's another question here. Uh, actually, yeah, Sini will take that and then Alan will, will, will throw in a preamble on, or uh, something on it. How financially stable should a man be tomorrow because it's becoming expensive. Like preparation for rurashio and wedding, it's like you need a million as a man. If I got that question correctly. So how financially stable? Uh, senior, senior and uh, mom, you'll take that specific question, but I would want Alan to answer the question on intimacy. So uh, we can pass a microphone to Alan so that he can take that intimacy question. The question read, is intimacy important during dating, and especially when one of the partners insists on it? I think th there are two things. First, what's the definition of intimacy? <laughs> intimacy is the people who define intimacy as uh, romantic interactions. So, touching, holding, hugging, you know, some go as far as sadly so kissing and petting, they call that intimacy. So, it depends on the definition. Um, but I, I'd say intimate is into me, you see. That's intimacy. So you are able to understand and see the things that make me healthy, but now as a Christian, under the scope of God's word. Okay? So I don't do anything that will contravene the word of God as I'm being intimate with you. Intimacy is not physical relations because we are intimate with God when you're praying. That's intimacy. Okay? So intimacy is beyond the physical limitations, limitations of the flesh into what the heart yearns for. That's intimacy. So into you I see. Okay? Your weaknesses, your strengths, your desires, your dreams. That's intimacy. Intimacy is friendship, purity, and exclusiveness in one pack. That's intimacy. So I'm pure to you, I'm your friend, and I'm exclusive to none else, no one, no one else but, but you. Okay? It's different from romance or from making love. Okay? So, and then uh, where one person is the one who is pushing it, I think there might be a break of miscommunication or there might be someone wants to edify their flesh at the expense of the other person. You know, because in a relationship, you're supposed to have a mutual understanding, especially on those matters. 
If I come to more than a school, Makushinda Mungine, okay? We need to be on the same page. We can agree to disagree, but be on the same page, okay? But as Christians, as Christians, that's my, my, my back falling point, intimacy is me seeing you, seeing into you, but under the scope of what the Lord expects me to see you. I'm your friend. I can hold your hand. I can take you out. I can buy you flowers. I can buy you chocolate if you're a chocolate person. I can be intimate that way, but under the boundaries of what the word of the Lord says. Not saying that now meant to be, to be, uh, look for the word. I'm not saying now meant to be boring. Hello, Christian men. Ahu. I'm not saying that, okay. <laughs> you can still be intimate to her, but with respect and honor for her. Okay? Respecting and honor her the way God wants you to be. So I can say, oh, thank, you. thank you. Let's pass you to 12. Something. Yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, let's uh, get the answer for the second question. I'll ask, I'll read it again. How financially stable should a man be tomorrow? And tomorrow here is. Uh, to represent the future because it's becoming expensive like preparation for Rurashio, Koito and all those uh, and wedding is like you need a million shillings as, as a man so let's, 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 let's first of all <laughs> yeah I wanted senior to start because it was the man huh? and then now we bring ladies <laughs> uh, Buenas Fiwe Amen. You know, men are speaking here, can be hurting ladies. So I was deliberately avoiding the question. Um, one of the key things in marriage is maturity. And maturity in the pocket, maturity in the, in the emotions, and many things. Basically, um, love is not supposed to be expensive. Neither is supposed to be cheap, but it's supposed to be affordable. What that basically means, the two of you who are getting married agree what actually... Uh, I came in when people are discussing irreducibles. For us, the irreducible was that we walk in the presence of God. It didn't matter whether we are going to take a gown, we have a gown for her, a cake. And we agreed that. Um, I think um, just to go straight because of interest of time is you, the two that are getting married, need to agree um, how can we make even the Rurasho chip um, and all those things. Those are things honoring parents. And you can discuss with them, by the way, uh, and make a manageable thing before tomorrow it becomes expensive. So what I'm saying is because I know what happens to majority of the ladies when we get to marriage. Now, particularly if we have not been able to discuss all things. So we ukondani, lakini ya nafikiria mama atapata nguo, mbusi, ngombe, all those things. If they are not very discussed, they become expensive. But if they were never. I've seen weddings of 10 million, I've seen weddings of 300,000, I've seen one for 1 million. So I also don't know when it becomes expensive. But the two that are getting into marriage must and should actually discuss a manageable thing. Mwanauma kipoteza pesa nyingi. Your marriage in Anjanga na Uchungu. You know that Atakwana Kufanya is Mutakwana intimacy sasa. The heart goes far. But if for us men, we are defined by wealth. The more we get to push to spend, we can spend. Then we can end up with Give you a story, not our story, of one of our friends. Ali Tishwa million in Billy. And they were working in the bank. Now if you have a man, and a suit is a Ford, so you can get a loan. The guy took a loan. Kalipa. Alpofika nyumbana kamuambia, ukaya nyumbani mpaka tulipe hii tumali? Tumalize. Now this is somebody who was doing out of the love of the parent. Already these guys are entering into a relationship, hurting one another. So what am I saying in short? As you date, as you know to date, I love your points that you have put. Be Christian and brotherly enough to agree what are some things that will not give us? When a man is trained financially, and for us, we don't speak, by the way. Uwa tuna nyamaza, lakini nafika maali, anaanza kuambia usiende nyumbani, because anajua unataka shopping. You know? So, unaanza kuona, hey, kumbe kuoleka ni gereza hivi. <laughs> kumbe is saving money on fair, is saving money on not shopping, just because the rurasho was expensive. Discuss, 
prior to. Um, I didn't want to discuss. I'm speaking like a man. Maybe a lady would have answered this question. A lady, any of these two. Okay, I'll just uh, give our practical what you did. Uh, we met in a college that is Egerton, and I knew the amount of money he was earning. And by then, I had just finished college. So, in knowing the background, we sat and agreed if this is the amount you are earning, how much can you pay for the dowry? So, we wrote an agreement. So, to end the homework, it is a two million in a Juahana. Nikona was there on a Sumbua. I just called out of my elder brother. Nikombeo, by then, the person on a Sumbua is being raised by a single mother. And this is our agreement. So, my own was Chan on a Toroka, even on Tatoroka. So, you either agree on this. Or I'll go get married. <laughs> so that, that, that is because you had spoken before. There's no way you bring in a big mountain that you know your fiancé cannot afford. Because one of the things as you did, you already know where he's working, how much he's earning, and even you. So because I was the first girl, obviously everyone would want to test the dowry part. But now the person who is bringing the dowry has less. On our wedding as well, we agreed according to our budget. By the way, I, I, did I hire? I was given a gown. That would we hired. Oh, me, I even never. When get to marriage, I was that baby girl. Because he <laughs> so I, I even didn't know whether we hired or I was given. So for me, it didn't matter much. The makeup, I think my girls did it, and it was very simple. Me, I don't like makeups. Even cake, wakati kulikuwa na shida, we agreed to tafanya bi biscuit. Unakumbuka? Imagine having biscuit as a cake. So we had just said we won't um, stress ourselves to part that we can't go for. So as he said, if the two of you can agree, the ones that you are dating, you can do a wedding that it can be affordable to you. Even now, no, no, to wana wana boeka kuongezwa kwa WhatsApp. Ama ni mina wana. Unayongeza mtu wana kama me left. So people don't want. So just do the wedding as per your budget. And senior can attest. That one is wafanyia boardroom. Na tashangilia. Or we can do after Sunday. That won't less, uh, make your marriage less. But if you have to pump and you have the money, ah, to eat it, tungare, tuende kwa video. If you don't wa have agree with your partner, then work as per your budget. Thank you. Um, I didn't even ask people to contribute for a wedding. I only invited them because I wanted to walk in the presence of God. They came, they realized it's biscuit, they bought the cake. They realized there was no videography, they went and did. Go and ask the elders of Naku, they realized there were no vehicles, they went and brought vehicles. Well, the only thing they didn't bring finally was the PA during our time. For the, they realized I didn't have a place for the photographer. I did in Greenstead. They went and hired that. Of course, the wedding was done with the cake. It was with the driver. But I didn't bother anyone. And I was very strict. The mother wanted us to do a pre-wedding. Pre-wedding is here to change the place. I was to change the That is what the, 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 the Banyore does. I told them, me, I want the blessings of God. I will not come. Of course, she was offended throughout the wedding. That one, he'll cancel you a kabisa. Tutaifanya si kuingine yesu akiruti. But the wedding, pre-wedding is before the wedding. It was as simple as that. Uh, we didn't have, by the way, I tell you this. We didn't even book a place for honeymoon. A friend booked for us a place. Akasema kuna nyumba ni mehaya mahali. So sis, tukatropiwa uko, tukatembea, tukaruti. That is how glorious our wedding was. I took some but what were the Sumbukan? Africans, Mutakufa's <laughs> stress. <laughs> the Lord bless you. I didn't want to tell you those, but yeah. keep it for yourself. Let, let's, let's also hear from Beatrice on, on, on that question. Praise God, I'm concilia. <laughs> oh, Alisema Beatrice, so. Um, yeah, okay. For me, for me, for our dowry, I also say it was an agreement. Like he told me, this is what I have. I know the work he does, I know what he earns. And so for me, that day they were coming to our home, I called mom and I told him, this person is this way and he's this way. And don't stress him, whatever he has, just accept it. 
we do our wedding, we become a family and we still support you. Like, yeah. And they agreed. I thank God they agreed. My dad is a pastor. At least they agreed and we thank God. Wow. Let's 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 have one question from the uh, from the YPs directly. So there's a microphone that Maureen has ready. I'll just take two questions uh, because of time, because I need to land this plan at 5 p.m. So shoot your question, preferably a gent and a lady. Don't be afraid, Uliza Swali, or mume ridhika na majibu yenye mepata na imejibu maswali yenye mulikuwa na ayo. So we, maybe you are fearing to ask. I want to encourage you. Um, Thank you, Alan, for bringing the biblical perspectives. Uh, in, in theology, experiences do not validate who God is. What some of us have done here maybe cannot be done. Um, some of you are raised differently. I'm a soldier at heart, my staff. Um, Rosie is very delicate, but I know how to deal with her politely but firmly. Now, once you understand that, you'll also know where you are going. Some of us, as we are doing this conversation, you have been hurt, and that is when I want, want to put a covet. So when you are talking about you are chasing very hard, you get at a place in age, you say, now I must play fast to get. Uh, but just pray God to be able to involve God in the search so that you are not quick or you are not going ahead of God in search. Um, because some of you ladies who ask, maybe I've been too desperate. Because sometimes, no one gets what we use as kuma. Kuna mungina na piga nduru mpaka na ngoma. Sawa. What we are trying to say is, do not also condemn. Because some of you have been in unique experiences that we may not be able to answer in this place. But what we want to actually to understand is, biblical marriage, biblical dating comes a place of understanding yourself, understanding your mate. Of course, you are mature people. When you get a decision that your parents and others cannot agree with you, you can make that as two of you. And that's why we agreed. I had this guy called Brother Madadi. He has married in the same place. And I knew I'm going to get there. You know, for lawyers, they go, they check where you come from. I was like an orphan. I didn't have a place. So he told me you are a mature person, even in the constitution of Ken. And he said, you are a mature person. Of course, Kumba Aliwaju, I took a agree to you. It may not apply to you, but you must understand that when you get into marriage, you're supposed to make decisions, decisions for prosperity. Learn to protect one another. Do not use a single day of your planning to ruin the many future to come, either financially or emotionally. When you are entering into a relationship, particularly that leads to marriage, it's near to permanent decision. Biblically, whoever marries you, even if you divorce or even separate, they are still your spouse. The Bible says whoever marries a divorcee has actually committed adultery. In the Ononanga Mutuko African context, and I say, Malimari Bibiang. What you guys don't know is in scientific part of understanding, or maybe our postmodern, Uliacho. But Akunanga until Amanda. Even some people have seen some funny stories. Mutu Alikufa, like in Bado, they are there. The, the soul is always tied to that person. So the weight in which you put in that thing is good. Don't be very quick. When you're asking the issues of intimacy, which Ellen is trying to clarify to us, don't allow just some, some emotions itself to drive you to someone, and it ends there. People are going through many things, even in marriage. They say those who are in want to jump out. Pale nye muko inje munataka kujump in. Lakini sisi tukondani, mkiulisa tu vizuri at room temperature and pressure. And at standard temperature and pressure, RTP and STP, I can surely tell you, people want to, because they are also thinking there is an angel elsewhere. But there are things you remind yourself. Like for us, nakumbuka when we had nothing. And then now God has given us something, not almost everything. So those are some few things we want to. But I want to encourage us as young as we are, marry also somebody you know. Ata kwao, waze kitambo alikuwa naenda na chungulia mutu, because some of you are getting people and you are bringing it to me. Three months, you have a lot of makeup Tuesday, you have a lot of makeup. So, you have a wig, 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 you have a wig
so that atashtuke siku moja amekupata na <laughs> uko na so let's also be vulnerable and you don't do it you do it procedurally yeah. usiende siku ya kwanza ndio unamwambia nilikuwa na wanaume 10 hata toroka hiyo siku unampatianga dose kidogo kidogo ana meza ana meza anaanza kuwa addicted unaona eh anaanza kukubali mazuri na mabaya moja moja si kila siku unaajilia yote are we together yes. understand what they love also daily moja 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 what i used to do i told you that we worked with ross and because i realize i'm very firm i could go in a boleta moso tuko tunacheza mpira na kafinya mgu nijue na nikasirika atafanya nini na nikaona kumba ana nyama zanga tu akivi akivinyo so those are some few things you find some strategies of knowing your your person yeah siku nyingine ni mpeleka date alafu mnunulie tu chai acha kununue escort uone vile ata behave you know ama nunulie pizza uone vile ana behave munua matumbo you know those kind of things so we really need some of more of this conversation of how do we know you are met how do you know their area ask them some of the things there are things me i love i can preach yeye nilimwambia hata kitoroka nikiwa peke yangu nitahubiri so there are many of you ukisikia tu preacher utaenda sema mapema you know so that people are understanding that i don't want a pastor forever i don't want music forever kama unapenda chakula pia sema kama unapenda nga muziki sema so in the way that way you are getting into marriage you know that this is the extreme part of somebody there are people who like working over hours some people just want to be listened to once you understand some basic particularly kitu ina sinyanga mtu sana i ask people i understand the worst thing that they actually hurt because it helps you to prepare for the best thing you can be to them and then understand the best thing that they like so that you can prepare for the worst if the best is not there the lord bless you yes this this just a question the last question probably we would do and and this uh cuts across inter denominational uh, relationships so the question reads uh what is our perspective about having a relationship with a lady or a man who fellowships at catholic church and you are a protestant so he or she has character and in a scale of 0 to 10 which i think 0 is the worst and 10 is the best he or she scores a 9 kindly advice you know premarital counseling um let me begin quickly in sitam we marry two categories of people we cannot marry a believer and a non believer but we can marry a non believer and a non believer because the bible say two can not walk together unless they are yoked together <laughs> so when chokoras walk here don't be surprised that i wed them yeah. the bible says yoke them yes. so i yoke them yes. now the other category which we yoke is believer and believer <laughs> are we together yes. so we walk in this place and you are believer and believer i will gladly do that covet uh-huh. We seek to reduce something called doctrinal differences. Uh-huh. Unajua nyinyi acha nisimame. Unajua marriage kuna kitu nyinyi mnaweza nunua kuku, mnaweza nunua nyama. The only thing you cannot buy, of course people are buying is sex. Are we together? Hiyo unapewanga nyumbani in doses. Wale mnatamani kuolewa. Those are the things nikiona naambia wewe jamaa wangu enda kula vitu na kula. Na kula. Of course you guys are eating legitimately. Now there are some doctrines that are very funny. Kuna kanisa nyingine wanasema you cannot have sex with your wife. Paka lale. Yaani romance nitakane kuwa so polite. So wengine nasema unanyemelea pole pole. Those are nonsense things. So we try to teach you the way of understanding biblical intimacy so that ufike huko unakuta unataka kitu because ukioa nimekwambia enda kula vitu na kulanga unafika huko naambiwa fanya maombi kwanza <laughs> maombi ni hapa so reduce <laughs> reduce some of the things that i'm getting in the offices that's why nimeamka hapa iko watu wameenda makanisa singine the way they really interpret marriage dress code approaching each other is funny anasema alikuja na mbiombio hata aombi na mwingine hata hata romance hawana for us we teach 
Ya, yeah, mkikuja kwa class yetu kuna class na itwanga kuna kitu hapo ya sexual intimacy. Sexual intimacy. Yaani ile unaingia kwa nyumba unasikia leo chakula itaiva. Hiyo chakula yenye wewe ukulangi, yenye naambianga watu nitaambia wewe jamaa in 2 weeks. So some doctrines are very fun. So what I would say over a Catholic, over a Protestant is that it's possible that there are people actually who are born again. I still have a copy in Sitam tutakuongelesha kidogo of course Catholic also don't come in confession but I will lead you in some simple things that can bring you on the same page. But to be very careful with some doctrines. Things are not on the face value vile unaonekana hivi. Utaingia huko ndani waambie maombi haijafanya. Utafika huko naitwa anaenda ambia pastor wake ananiambia na kujanga so roughly. Huko game inachezwa anga inanga rules. <laughs> Bwana asiwe sana. Amen. So nakuja nasikia vitu singine hapa. Oh, sijui nini it is because you are getting in and you know there are things that you should never discuss in your marriage or they should not they should not come into your marriage one is politics sawacha ni mafunze vitu zingine utaambia siku nyingine ukiwa ODM na ukiwa na mtu mwingine wa hiyo chama nyingine kwa marriage is what to discuss sisi we are couple at we are partyless so ukiwa different party you don't discuss that now religion <laughs> it can really divide you religion kuna ingine that is becoming difficult is called culture we are trying to help people kuna culture zingine the way they interpret intimacy yani ni ngumu so what you normally do is go and research and agree so same tu hapa tunaoleka kwa muhindi unajua muhindi wewe ndio unalipiwa dowry so you know that eh? ama mjui so once you understand that and agree that ukikuja hapa tutakushikanisha Otherwise, mutakuwa muna pigana tu kila siku, muna kuja kwangu. So the only differences that we try to give you are covert and advice. Go and seek some of the things that culture do. And see if you will agree. Now, if you realize you are a conservative man, don't go to a cultural lady. Because mutakosana tu after three months. So, in simple term, what I'm saying is, uh, be it Catholic. Catholic are very fair sometimes. But you know Catholic, so now you priest who analyzes your wine, your tea, me back, litambili, mukikunywa water, analyze. You know what will happen afterwards. You will walk straight home. So you need to be able to be very careful as you engage other religions. The Lord bless you. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Alan, allow me to say one thing before he he wraps this thing up. Let me do a practical thing. How many of you are dating? You're seeing someone. You're you're in a relationship. Okay, let me be. Wangapi mnaona mtu? Let me. <laughs> Someone special. Wameongezeka. Okay, let me now be even more. Ule mwenye ukiamka asubuhi kiosha maji kwa beseni unamuona kwa hiyo maji ya beseni uki. How many of us are seeing someone? Many. Hiyo kuona kwa beseni hapa, lakini kuona mtu tunaona. So we, we how many okay, how many of us are, 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 are in a relation courting in an expectation of getting married? Wamepunguka tena. So kuna dating ya dating na ile ya kuolewa. Ama Okay, how many of us are single? Single single there's nothing in the offing hakuna kitu uko sure hakuna if you go through your text messages if you go through your WhatsApp group hakuna babe hakuna wa Hai, akuna, akuna friends with benefits. How many? Tuko wapi? <laughs> you know, why, why, why I'm asking this? Because as Christians, at times we are so religious, as you're saying some time back. So I normally ask people, are you single by chance or single by choice? Are you single because there are no opportunities for you to engage in a relationship? Or are you single because you are waiting upon the Lord to direct you towards someone? Kuna tafauti. Okay. And some of us are single by name, but not by the definition. You're single, but you're doing everything that a dating person could do. You're single, but you're babe, good night. You're single, but you're, you get flowers. You're single, but you're enjoying the benefits of a dating couple if you're saying you're single. God says you either be hot or cold. cold. Don't be lukewarm. 
If you're single, let's know you're single. Hakuna hakuna gray area. You're single, you're single. If you if you're courting, let people know you are courting. And if you're not if you're courting and there's no intention of marriage, stop it. Break it up. Christians, we don't court for the sake of courting. We court with the intention of getting married. So sir, so your first date should be nilini. What you, what's the purpose of us courting? When are we getting married? Tumelawana. Kama kuna tu. Tu wache. Pasi ya When you're single, the devil wants to break the covenant of not having sex before marriage. That's why some of us are, are, are single, yet you want to, to court. When you get married, the devil wants you to break the covenant of having sex by not having sex. You can make sense. Unasa hivu, mkona munasema nataka kuolewa sababu ya ABCD chakula ya ndoa okay when you get married he does everything in his power for you not to have it so i was saying kai go single focus christ your bible your career people around you and work on yourself as a wife and as a husband bible says he who finds a girlfriend a daughter a what a wife finds a what a good thing you don't become a wife because you're married. The only thing that changes on your wedding day is your, is your husband's name. Okay? But you come as the same person you are. If you're selfish, unkind, impure, promiscuous young man or woman, when you get married, you become a selfish, promiscuous wife or husband. Nothing changes. Marriage is magic. What you want to be in your marriage, be that thing right now. If you want to be a kind wife, a kind man, a loving wife, a loving man, do that thing now. Sawa, sawa. Okay, thank you. So, um, okay. I have a question towards Rev. Rev, what happens in the relations of Catholic and maybe me, I'm in Sitam, and the other partner is in Catholic or maybe SDA, and we want to get married. Well, which church will we follow? Mimi staki kutoka sita. Yeye hataki kutoka maybe SDA or Catholic. What happens? And to be married. The Bible says the two, the, you leave a mother and your father. Does the Bible not say that? Now, that is where it is. By the way, for SDA, there is a friend of mine who was marrying an SDA. The SDA, you must become an SDA. So, in kwa naambia, introspect. Not just see to Mezaliwa, Enzi, Ambayo, ni, we are very liberal. You guys are G- millennials and um, are Gen Z. These of it is our Zaza Sikwab. But our pastors, majority of them, you will get less millennials like me. They are very rigid. Ata ni meenda arusingine wanasema ni mimi nafanya arusi and all that. They disturb many young people. For SDA, by the way, you must be an SDA. A Catholic, the other one must be a Catholic. Ndiyo naonanga watu wana backslide pitsitam, anaokoka, anaenda uko wana backslide wote, wana rudi. Those are the things people are doing now. Now, for you guys, agree what you supposed. It's almost near complicated thing, but I'm giving practical approaches. What people have done, sitam, we are very liberal. Mimi nitawangelesha hapo, if somebody is not born again and only salvation would make you, sinu kuwa tuna mina washikanisha and teach you the things of God here. But the other side is that you must be indoctrinated like them. So, and you realize you are willing to accept. They come, but maybe sasa ukifika maalu wewe utaki kuwa mwesdiye because utayendanga church sangapi Saturday. Unaanda kata, the rift begins. Marriage is, not, is supposed to be played. I will play for you something. Life was never meant to be hard. Even work. Unajua hata mtuta kizaliwa, watu wanakuwa na check, unafanya raha. Love when I Because my ladies cry when they are giving birth. We shouldn't struggle to get to marriage. We shouldn't struggle to be there. But agree. For us, Sitam, there are some doctrinal principles. You need to read our statement of faith. We are evangelical by style. Majority of the churches subscribe to that. We believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We believe in the, the uh, Pentecostal. One of the things is you get married to your spouse. Go and print. Of course, some of you have never known the doctrinal stand of Sitam and what is your stand. 
na muulize zenu ni gani um skifika hapo 60% the rest of the thing you can ne negotiate but you realize it's below 30% muta struggle you really struggle in that house when you struggle in the place of prayer you struggling kama mtaenda kanisa na unanga watu wengine wana dropiwa tu hapa church na mtu anaenda zake kienda kupatilia hiyo marriage ni kama ilikufa kitambo they are just trying to take care of the children you may not want to go there that's why we are speaking to us by the way god has given you when the animals were passing before ni adam ama abraham alikuwa na name animals adam when god created everything uh, unajua jamaa alisema kitu hapa alisema beauty is constant nilikuwa nachukua notes this guy is hakuwa naandika character varies unaona huyu mwanamke vile ako brown na huyu mweusi ana test to say haleluya hii <laughs> machungwa ni simu <laughs> in the eyes are we together yes the mentality in the attitude when the environment is you know nanga hata mtu anatembea na mtu na huyu alichaguaje huyu mtu hiyo kitu ni kutengeneza akili yako alafu unatembea na na hiyo maembe na hiyo maembe the composition chemical composition is the same sasa u struggle at all oh, is good is muslim uh, you are wondering my brother these things ukiona tu kumekuwa kugumu on religion on culture pomba kidogo then get somebody apo pakarata they vary isn't you was na define beauty this a beauty from inside are we together you may not agree with me because some of you want tall men white men but i'm jafika huko sisi tumekuwa huko so and we end it with this let's let's end it with this kuna vitu tatu kwa hii world zimesumbua wanaume na wanawake love either itakuwa na regrets ama bila regrets na si bila regrets ju umetumia trust ju trust itakinga kinga pregnancy au STI but reality ni haitakukinga from a soul tie kuna vitu tatu essential kwa hii world ni ku understand definition ya love kwa ko love inaweza kuwa hug munju making out det kempinski or kibandaski haijalishi juu wengine chance ya kwenda debt ni kukula food yenye kwao hawakuweza ku afford or pia wengine chance ni kutembea places zenye kwao hawangeza kufika but the truth of the matter is love is equal to the cross juu bila cross hatuna bridge ya ku get to the one who loved us to the point of death bila cross we cannot put our points across in a loving way kumbuka that the fruit of the spirit is love hizo vitu zingine zote bila love huwezi kuwa na joy bila love self control itakuwa missing bila love gentleness utakuwa mgumu kama get ya chuma kuna vitu tatu essential ni ku understand that kila mtu alitengenezwa different and that is why you can get dna yako na ya mtu wako ama ya mtu mwenye alikuwa wako dna is different so ka amos ni wako usikimbie kwa ag because you want to get married ka amos ni wako then take time on your knees muulize god because ka amos ni wako no matter what happens atakuwa wako and the last thing i say magoti magoti yako iki remain smooth then i think magoti yako iki remain smooth so that your marriage becomes a smooth ride then you're just setting yourself up for a hard time because love is fought on the knees that's why christ only died on the cross his 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 ankles were placed together and nailed his hands spread out inviting us for that long big hug because he loved so love bila regrets see love na trust ni love with trust in him for the future tim tim shalala hi mkopoa are you good sauti imeenda wapi omna digest 
sawa sawa mdigest hata mimi na digest pole pole wow thank you so much um our panelists yes it has been a very very good session we have learned sit we are going to work on ourselves ndio we want weddings and uh, we are praying that our marriages will will work we will enjoy our marriages now i want to go to the announcements um we usually have our fellowships every uh second sunday of the month um uh here in church or uh, any other place that is communicated depending with the activity uh, number two this is a missions month and um we are having a mission to Kilifi as a joint CTAM uh, young professionals. And uh, the charges are 3,500 shillings per person. That is inclusive of transport to Nairobi. Initially, the budget was 1.8 million for the whole mission. Um, we were able to, to, to be given 500,000 by the head office. So we have we have to raise 1.3 million. So as Sitam Eldoret, we were asked to to raise a hundred thousand to support the mission. I want us to do one thing. Do we have our phones? Take out your phone. I want us to support the mission, Sindio. Sindio. We can take out our iPhones. Yes. So I want us to support the mission. As at now, we are at 13,000 shillings. From 100,000, what is the deficit? 87,000. Senior, we are not even a quarter. And we have two weeks to the mission. Are we doing well? Are we doing well, church? See, we can support the mission to Kilifi. So I want us to send that 50 bob, that 100 bob, right now. Sindio, I love ni tawambia to me raise pesa ngapi, vile to meka tu hapa hivi. So take out your phone. When you took on an iPhone, 